welcome back guys to a new video today we have upgrades for the e91 and we've got a cheap intercooler out of ebay we got it for 100 bucks and it's used and i think that's the cheapest version that you can get from ebay like they're usually around 200 bucks and today we will put this in the car and see if this actually improves your intake air temperatures and yeah so let's go so there's a lot of a lot of debate of these intercoolers at the internet and some people say they are like really bad and you only need to get a Wagner intercooler and today we will find out if that's true and you can make your own decision based on our res results. We're gonna measure the intake air temperatures before we put install it onto the car and then we're gonna measure it after we install the intercooler onto the car so we can see if it makes any difference at all. Okay guys, before we uninstall the original intercooler, we are going on a test drive and measure the intake air temperatures. And yeah, so let's go. Okay guys, to see if we have any uh, improvements with the new intercooler, now we're gonna measure the air intake temperature. And now we are measuring at cruising speed on the highway. We are driving like 140 kilometers and it's 26 degrees Celsius outside and you can see we have an intake air temperature around 40 degrees and now we're gonna make a pull in like fifth gear and then we see how high the temperatures are rising and yeah So first things first, we want to remove these uh, plastic trim up here. Then we want to remove the electric fan down there. And also we need to check up the car. I'm not sure if we need to remove the front bumper or not, but we definitely need to remove the whole under tray. And yeah, so now we're gonna check up the car and go to work. All right, guys, now I'm under the car and we remo re remove just the plastic trims and you can get to the intercooler but we have one problem these screws they don't they didn't look like they will come out and now we need to get both of these screws out and then we can get the intercooler off which you can see is just this big okay guys we got the stock intercooler out and compared to the upgrade intercooler there's quite a big difference also uh, the upgrade intercooler is way wider i guess and yeah now we're gonna see if it's if that's gonna fit into the car and yeah mm. i just tried to fit the new intercooler in but we need to cut this plastics out a little bit like you can see this lip we need to cut it out a tiny little bit then it will fit i guess after you cut it out it looks kind of like this um it's not beautiful and watch out you didn't cut into your bumper like this but doesn't mind it doesn't need to be beautiful so now the uh, intercooler fits and we're gonna bolt it in and yeah okay guys so we've have we had on cruising speeds at the highway we had 33 degrees celsius and outside it's now 25.5 it's slightly cooler than before but um, the temperatures are 
way cooler and now we're gonna make a pull and we will see that. okay now we're in third gear making a pull I think and that's a massive 